Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and welcome back to another episode of Farthest Frontier. And yes, we are in Stark's Corner, and we are where we are working on a theater and a nice little plaza area. But most importantly, this episode, we are dealing with the 0 0.8, 0 0.8.0 uh, upgrade. It's still early access, so there's been a lot of changes. So we're going to see how much this actually impacts us in this uh, build, in, this, in our village here. Uh, thankfully, no issues of loading the village that I can tell. But we are, wow, like, you know, got a bunch of icons here. We're in the beginning of the year. Hopefully things are okay. What's going on over here? Let's have a look-see. Maybe slow things down, pause. What's going on? What is going on here? Health is not doing too, too good. Wound it. Go to the healer. Like you're, you're going to go right past the healer. Well, why don't we bring you up there? Go to the healer. It's right here. So not sure what's going on. Not stopping you. And I highly encourage you, please go see the healer. Now, what we're going to get up to is we are going to try to deal with some issues. Oh, my God. Firewood being the biggest. Um, so we're out of firewood. And we just need to get some more produced. In fact, you can see now all the icons here now popping up. No firewood, no firewood, because, well, there's no firewood. Now, we should see here one of the changes, and that is more contextual help. So let's pause things here for a moment. And this is something I had not clued into. So as you can see, these, these are the builders. We have 12 builders and we have uh, 24 uh, laborers. But here, the builders are automatically drawn from the labor pool as needed. So increase or decrease the number uh, that are needed. Now, we are going to have to build because we only have six homes and we obviously got some things under construction. But my goodness, uh, we, we definitely have uh, some problems. Now here we can also control the villagers, which we have been doing. Can't, can't even imagine. Control click to go plus or minus 100. We're not there yet uh, in this. So we're going to get rid of this. We're going to decrease this down to maybe six. Uh, and we're going to focus on getting... Um, more firewood and uh, room for more citizens and as well ensuring we've got a desirability issue, which I don't know. The rats seem to love Stark's Corners, which, oh my goodness, how many rat catchers do we actually need? But we're going to pop over and as you can see, our wall is coming along pretty good. Coming along over here. Got our little, little outpost being built over here. Uh, somebody needs a ranged weapon pretty badly. But uh, as we scroll over, got some temporary shelters. Uh, so hopefully uh, folks want to use them. So yeah, work areas. So we do have the tutorials enabled. So we'll see these pop up because these are new. Um, but that's fine. As you can see, we do have this work camp working here. Uh, I'm going to allocate even more resources to this work camp. And we're just going to prioritize wood. Let's uh, let's do that. And I think the other thing we're going to do is we're going to actually build another uh, work camp. Come in and see if we can find the work camp again. This is a challenge when we only uh, do one episode here a week. But we can stick this right here on the corner. Let's, uh, let's do it. Actually, we'll, we'll back it up here. Yes, I understand. Firewood is low. Very much so. Okay, so we have that. So that is good news. We've got that going. As you can see here, we have some other temporary shelters being built. So this should reduce the travel time. Now, actually, let's remove somebody from... Only have two people working in the sand pit for now. You got desirability, which we'll look back up. And there's nice things with desirability we'll go through in a few moments. There's a little outpost being built. So I don't think there's much to do here. We are going to come up along here. 
And I do want to check the fishing shack. And as you can see here, fishing area plus 30%. We're doing well with the fishing. But we'll do our best to get that going. And actually, in fact, I think we have another fishing hut along here we need to resolve. Yeah, so this fishing shack, put that there. Hopefully that will help get some more fish because we definitely need the food. Got a lot of blueberry bushes, hopefully come into season soon. So that's coming along. Now, one of the things that would be hard to notice without looking for it is apparently one of the updates is better AI. So back in the day, especially at season change, they would just drop everything and run. Apparently that's no longer the case, which would be good news. Oh my goodness. Well, has run dry. Okay, no, we're good now. I hadn't seen that before. Okay, so we need the rain. Okay, rain is good. Wowzers, like I say, never seen that before. Now, we're going to have a look at desirability because we are going to need to add more homes. And you got a nice, good overview here. But what is new, if we say click on this building here, this, this, this shelter. Actually, let's pause things because we do have a merchant and we want to deal with that. We now have this desirability bar. It shows where it is, and you can now see what is actually giving it the 48% uh, desirability. So we've got a market, the school, a large park, a well, and a whole bunch of small gardens, these guys. So as you can see, actually, these 10 small gardens spammed right in between is giving a boost of 15%. So as opposed to the large park, this over here, which is nice and from a aesthetics point of view is really good. Uh, is giving um, 15, sorry, uh, what was it, 12%? So things to keep in mind. So now our firewood situation is slowly improving, which is good. So we do have a traveling merchant. So let's pause things. We're, we're pretty familiar with this here. So we will just hit the question mark here, or yeah, the question mark to get rid of that. Now she is gonna be here for 34 days, that's fine. Buying coal at a profit or at a higher price, slightly above average. So click here and let's sell all that. And what else? Um, Pottery. It'd be nice if the other trader order. Oh, here comes the other trader. Perhaps, just perhaps, we can make a little extra money by uh, buying and selling between the two. For example, fish. Actually, I think we're going to buy some fish. Oh, my goodness, because we, um, we're we low on food. So let's uh, buy and transfer that to the town storage. What else does she have? that she is selling. Yeah, speed things up so the other guy can get here. Iron, oh yeah, we could use some of that. We can probably afford to buy a lot of it too. Let's just buy and transfer that. Have our second merchant arrived. So you'll be here for 35 days. He is buying tools at a profit or at a higher price. Same with weapons. And selling some things don't terribly need. So what is he, like I said, uh, linen clothes, sorry, no. Tools and weapons. Is she selling tools and weapons at a lower price? No, very much higher price there, higher price there. So that is not a way to take advantage of things. We don't uh, sell high, uh, we don't buy high and sell low. 
Okay, so I think we can get away from that. There's not much other trading we need to do here at this point. Work areas are empty and may need to be moved. Okay, well, that's nice. Okay, this is a new feature. Definitely think we can... That is to protect these areas, so we'll leave it there. That's fine. I don't know how often that's actually going to uh, come up, but I liked it. This has run dry. Okay, I think we need more, but let's actually upgrade this. But we're going to come in and we are going to build another well in the general vicinity. So we've got farm, farm. Actually, we've got one right here. Probably put one. Yeah, we can put one up here. So, okay, so we have all that underway. Can't wait for the theater, sweet, sweet entertainment. But I do want to come over here because we do need some homes. Uh, we have some space at the end, but not too much. We're going to look at desirability here, and you can see our two compost yards. Very, very ugly in that sense. So let's find... We're going to put up a road frame here. In fact, we can... Go all the way up for now. And this is going to be our dividing point in terms of what homes we put where or where we put homes. So we'll go this far, but no father with uh, respect to homes. So we can come into housing and our full shelters. And actually, I think this is one of the upgrades that has occurred. So, you know, you might have noticed sometimes, uh, pending heat wave. Oh, Lord. No, 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 no. Uh, you'll see tabbing around, but this is now more visible. So we'll keep one off. Put three there. And I think what we'll do, yeah, we will put three there. This will then allow us to come in with decorations. And we will put in the small gardens right behind. And that should give us plenty of homes, but we're not done yet. We're going to get started on something else. Kind of amenities here. And we are going to come in and put in another school. And you can see, and actually, I think this is another upgrade. You can see the bonus range now. And in check, you can see this is going to provide plus 10 to all these homes here. Obviously, we have a school in this vicinity. So we are going to put, I think, a school right here. OK, we will accept these villagers because we need them. But let's place that one off. We can now run a road. I think we'll run right here, connecting these two areas. We can now put maybe a large park or something behind here. Hey, OK, yeah, we, we are desperate in need of these homes now. But this should hopefully help with a collection of wood because we need it. Uh, let's come into crops. So we, we know this in terms of how all this works. So we're going to start with uh, peas, clover maintenance, peas, clover, oh, clover maintenance, peas, clover maintenance. OK. So that will help with this field here, get it ready. So it's coming right along. So it's a good thing we already plan to build these homes because they're going to get occupied pretty darn quick. 
Now, one of the things might be hard to tell because we are all full, but apparently one of the upgrades now is people will be, pick a shelter that's closest to the place of work uh, to minimize their commute time. So if we come all the way out, oh, oh, got work area empty, where is this? Oh, it's just this fellow here. That's fine, we're gonna leave you. Okay, so as we were saying, and I think they've changed one of the commands because I'm now drawing a box. Don't think I was doing that before. So the temporary shelters will hopefully get picked up, but yeah, sorry, not the ones I meant to come to is if we come over into this area where we have a little outpost being built, eventually these people should be the ones that are kind of working in this area, including all the way out here. In fact, we don't even have anybody working here at this hunter's cabin. Maybe we'll force a worker there because yeah, that would be good. Yes, yes, housing shortage. You know, it's funny, we got some warnings, but they don't all appear to be working because this fisherman's shack is like barely, barely touching that shoal of fish. So we'll put that there, get that going. Hopefully catch some more fish because we need the foods. We need the food. Including here, that's going well. Pause this construction. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is this is our second Fletcher building and we will make this, I think, four to one, just get more arrows. But this Fletcher building that we have right here, we are doing a seven to one ratio. So actually, you know what? For here and now, we're, we're gonna fix that. We're, we're just gonna make Let's just make some bows to get caught up for a bit because in desperate need of some more weapons, if we had more wood, I caramba, that is not good. But you can see here, we now have 39. So I think, oh, what I meant to cover is there was a message here where it says, and maybe if we take them away, not sure, it would say for a, oh, okay. Actually, so this is good news. Although it's taking from the laborers. As you can see, there's 34. Although we currently have 11 assigned, so let's speed this up. Okay, maybe not, maybe I was wrong. Okay, so we want this to be, I think at 12 at this point. Yeah, so this number is, I think, the number of laborers assigned. These are the number of builders, so they, even though it pulls from here. Ah, here's a message. It recommends having 32 based on the size of our village. So let's assign 11 builders at this point. As you can see, we're short of farmer. Had some new villagers born. So it's all good. It's coming along. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with this. I, I wish there was a way to say, no, please don't do anything with this. We are happy. Okay, so we'll temporarily move that area to over here. So we have things being built, logs being collected, firewood situation is getting better because winter, oh my goodness. Let's prioritize getting this theater built. I want to get it up and running. I think we're gonna to have to start upgrading. As you can see here, oh, nearby well penalty, okay. See the water capacity is slowly improving, but I think we're gonna upgrade. So it looks like, and I have to go through the notes uh, for the point 0 0.8.0 upgrade. 
there were definitely some uh, changes, uh, I think, even to the water. So I didn't catch that one. Here's to be, ooh, here's to be, we've got a jitterbug going on here, too. Um, maybe we'll just move our storage cart out of the way. There we go. Now, while we got all that underway, we're going to start beautifying some other areas, but we have some compost to apply. So we're going to come and back to our fields. This one is in desperate need. Going to add it to this one next. Oh, that compost yard is almost done, which is nice. And we can apply here. There we go. So get some things upgraded, fertilized, and just coming right along. Now, we will also come over here and come into our resources. And we will build a work camp. I think we can just come on down. Or we can build it up here. There's a lot of trees and we definitely need more. See, our housing situation is temporarily solved, but not as to where it needs to be yet. So thankfully we have some more homes being built. That school is being built. This rat catcher, he is just like, give me rats, give me rats, please give me rats. Okay, maybe we'll come up here. To having not enough rat catchers to have one very bored rat catcher. So it is what it is. Now, oh, there's our theater. Providing some valuable entertainment. Let's come here. You can see the theater is plus 13%. I don't think there's a way, now that it's built, that you can actually see its true range without actually going building by building. Let's have a look-see. No, doesn't look like uh, that is the case, which is a shame. Um, if anyone knows if that is a possibility, I'm just missing it, please leave a message down below in the comments. Very much like to learn if that trick is available, because it would be nice. Okay, so the other thing I want to get building here uh, is some more beautification. Now, one of the things that is new... Yes, more housing. Yes, more housing. That 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 is not the new part. So we have the ability to build a festival pole. This is a new service building. I think we'll try to get this built by our main keep. Of course, our famous uh, rat catchers. Uh, I think we have everything else currently built that we need. Now this area actually will need a market. But I think perhaps what we'll look to do is put that in this area here because I don't think that's going to be impacted by the negative. Although having it more centralized, because we're not going to have any homes here. Yeah, I think we can put that at the corner. So actually from a city planning point of view, you know, I got a school, drop the kids off, go to the market, pick up some food. I'm going to put a market right there. But I want to come in and we have some more decorations. Like I know these flagpoles are new, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the festival poles, more ornamental trees, flower urns, bench plazas, uh, among other things now. So, but some of them actually, so these crates and barrels are just a decoration. The ornamental tree, it improves desirability. Same with this flower urn. Got statues, those are nice. I think 
think those are new, but let's come in and look at building a large park. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this large, this large park right across from these homes as a bit of a buffer. And if we come in, got some gardens. Do we have a large plaza? Thought we had a large plaza too. Okay, those are just little medium plaza. So let's, hmm. I think we'll end up putting another large park. And then this will allow us to come in with some housing. right behind it as well. Now we are full here. So let's prioritize two of these shelter builds. Oh, and winter is upon us. I think we can also speed things up a bit here. It's going a tad, tad slow. And we still haven't solved. Needs a ranged weapon. I'm like, come on, go go get a ranged weapon. We could, you could really use one. Trust me. Oh my goodness. And we're also burning right through some money. So we're going to turn off a number of these lookout towers. Turn off this one. We're gonna to have to improve our taxes. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on. The one tower I always have a problem with, and of course it's turned off, as it should be, as it should be. So some of these other ones we can definitely keep turned off because we need to improve our financial situation. The poop uh, tower will stay uh, active. I think now that we have a pretty solid wall, we can turn off this lookout tower. You can see the wall is almost built. We're working hard. It's done along here. This tower we can turn off. Now, I would love a ability to go to a screen and just all my defenses to turn them all on or all off. And a log stack animal, that's good. More kids born. We have a bit of room, not much. Continue to work on it. So that is good. Our food situation now though is, is terrible again. Um, so we have, Probably could use it with a forager in this location. So I think what we'll do is we'll come into our little outpost area, food and production. We will build a forager shack so it can be protected as well in our little community. This will be a tight knit community for sure. Okay, so let's get into thinking about building up this area. So what do we have? We do have this uh, Fisher Shack, which I think we will relocate this building. We'll just move it up here. Get it moved. Oh, we have a merchant in town, that is good. I think we have to build more markets. We're going to have to actually get more goods produced because we are chewing through our money. Like we've got a lot of gold in the uh, trading post, so we can 
supplement our 2,700 gold that's within the village itself. You know what? Why don't we buy some logs to help with our situation? Maybe about 200. Yeah, that should be good. Buy and transfer. What else does he have? What is he buying? He's buying some soap. We have some soap in here. Let's sell all that. Get some of our money back. Okay. Not much else we can do or should look to do here at this point. Another trader on his way in. But I think while all that's occurring, we can see if we can find areas. Ay caramba. Rats, rats, rats. Where we can make some more money. Um, actually, we have plenty of bricks. We don't need to worry about that. Let's get some more pottery on the go. Blacksmith is just pumping stuff out. Weavers, we can make some more baskets. And uh, it looks like now we just need more folks again. Okay, so we have another trader in town. What is she looking to buy? Oh, she's looking to buy some, some pottery at a you know higher price. So yes, please. Oh, we can't even buy, sell it all to her. Okay. Uh, sell. There you go. Thank you. Plenty of gold now. Okay, fish. What does he do to do? Okay. Probably use some more fish. We don't really have a lot of fish, so why don't we buy some fish? And just transfer that. Got a little rot going on. Villagers being born. Ay, caramba. So we've got some things to deal with. Maybe before. Where's this crop rot? This one? Please tell me. Won't go to the farm with the crop lost to rot. Okay, that's the frost. Maybe up here. Ah, up here. Okay. So we've got a pretty good rotation underway. I'm not sure why that's the problem. Okay. That's fine. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, but we do have... Oh, okay, that's a bit of a lie. We have some thirsty uh, folks to worry about. My bad. I am, I'm a sorry. I think we can put a well here. 64, let's do it. I think we need to find another good spot for a well. Without being too, too close. Got a well here. I don't want it close, so I don't have to walk that far. 47, 48. Put one there. So that should give them a lot of area. So, And I think we need to prioritize one of these wells. We will prioritize the better of the two. Get more workers on this. Go, go, go! Now we have the market. Yeah, just a lot of stuff being built. And we do need, once again, to continue the expansion. We are definitely down homes. So I think what we'll do... Oh, once again, this is a menu for the resources. Don't really need to show much of this. Um, nice to show by categories. There we go. We can see how much produced materials we have, usable items. 
but we actually don't have. We haven't made furniture yet. Candles? I thought we had candles. Must be missing something in the. Uh... So this is a nice view when you take a step back and have a look. Like we actually don't have any milk. Mushrooms, nuts. So some things that we should be collecting, we're just not at this point. But we will have to uh, deal with that soon. Oh, once again, wrong thing. I think what we'll do is we'll just run a connection here as well. And now we can come in. Oh, uh, we do have these homes being called to be built, so we'll prioritize that as well. So we should be fine. We've got room. Okay, so we don't need to worry about too many homes at this point because I don't want to have too much under build command. Oh, we have a homestead being upgraded. Nice. That is good news. Got to keep that up. And we can probably put some more small gardens in there. Ah, villagers being born. Okay, that, that is both good and challenging because we we need them to uh for jobs and to work and thrive the community. Oh my goodness. Maybe we're running short on the willow, because we just don't seem to have any ammunition. So let's come into our production building here, the Fletcher. They don't seem to have Oh, sorry, I was, I was thinking that we need it, but that's for the baskets. So it's just wood, which we bought a bunch of wood, which is going to help. So we, they really just need to get the wood going, and we should be fine. Okay, but speaking of fine, we should come in, and we did build a new forager shack. And this is not the best of areas. It's not terrible. But this area right here is pretty, pretty darn good. So I think what we're going to do is have a look. We've got a mix of greens. I think that is good. Now this forager shock. I wonder if we should maybe move it a tad this way. And we have Hunter Cabin. Yeah, there's Deer. Yeah, this is a great spot. So work rate. It's pretty good. It's going up for uh, what's here. No bores. So that's fine. Not too worried about that. And actually, maybe the reason why, because I'm pretty sure we have candles. Like these guys are making clothes from the flaxseed. Tannery is doing pretty good. Really? Okay, this work camp, we will make all wood. Move this and let's make sure we actually have a harvest command in this area. Worms, okay. That's disgusting. Bare feet, uh, soap, clean water. Okay, it's probably the water. We're having a water issue, but we're working on it, guys. We are working on it. Swearsies, oh my goodness. Uh, speaking of swearsies, uh, I swear I care about my citizens. Um, so the other thing that's new is defenses is where we have things like the Palisade walls. We can put that in there. We have a little tower up here giving some bonuses. We'll eventually have to build a tower over in this vicinity. Now I do wish, so we do have a uh, flattened terrain. I wish we had like great hill. So that would be a great uh, update. So 
that is good. Now, I think the other updates we're going to get our villagers on. And that is improving our roads. And we're going to do that where we have shelters, because I'm pretty confident that that will help them. So we will come in and click on this road, and we'll upgrade little sections where the richer part of the community is. Let's do that. There we go. Besides moving things faster, which be a big help, make this area of town look better. So we didn't get a chance to really start building out this area, which I do want to do. And that's going to probably require us to relocate some of our buildings because we will want to likely expand our where the walls are. So I can see us probably coming up to here and closing the cemetery. We would still keep this set of walls here. This is the last line of defense. Now, you've noticed, too, that we haven't had a raid. I believe this is also an update to, uh, you know, the 0 0.8.0 .0 update. So, because we are just on the, the normal mode here. So, I think they changed that, which is both good and bad, right? Like, we are spending tons of money on defenses, tons of money building the walls over here. Including a, a double corner wall. Oops, uh, it is what it is. It's there now. So I don't think there's much more we uh, totally need to do. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Plenty of laborers, which is good. Farmers, good. Where are we short on goods? Employ so many more on the tanner and the weaver. Let's just get all those fully employed. Same with the farmers. All good now. And what's the minus one? Um, incapable working. Don't know why you're assigned there. That That's kind of annoying. So it does look like we need to do one more thing. Yeah, I'm like Colombo. Just one more thing. Come into resources. And we'll find our rack. Oh, sorry, it's in services. We will employ another rack catcher. Keep it right next to this building. So that can get built. But let's just check up on one thing here as we look for uh, spring to arrive. So we really just need the gold. So we do have the gold. It's just going to take time for it to get here. We have a market that needs to get built. So that's fine. We're doing good. I think we'll uh, leave it here. Checking out our brand new theater. So I'd like to thank you uh, for watching today's episode of Father's Frontier. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next week. Bye for now.